before the opening bell. U.S. indices closing higher on Friday, lifted by shares in utilities, semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, as well as energy sectors. On the economic docket, there was no economic data released, so advancers well ahead of decliners. 93% of S&P 500 constituents trading higher on Friday. Now, after the markets closed, Berkshire Hathaway reported full-year 2017 net income jumping to $44.94 billion from $24.07 billion one year earlier, citing a net windfall of $29 billion related to the U.S. tax reform. Moving on, overseas Asian markets, they're up today. The Nikkei up 1.19 percent, the Hang Seng up three quarters of a percent, China's CSI 300 up 1.16 percent, and South Korea's Kospi up a quarter percent. European markets trading higher and U.S. futures calling for a positive start. In terms of expectations today, Scripps Networks Interactive fourth quarter EPS seen at $1.18 on sales of approximately $915 million. While on the economic dock at 8.30 in the morning, we have January Chicago Fed Nat National Activity Index. That's expected at 25 percent, while 10 o'clock in the morning sees January new home sales figures, as well as the February Dallas Fed Manufacturing Activity Read. Now turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 intraday sees the upside prevail. The Nasdaq intraday sees the upside prevail as well, while the Dow Jones intraday sees the bias remain bullish, and that's in focus to start the week as the relative strength index is bullish and calling for further upside. Long positions above 25,100 are favored with targets at 25,590 and 25,700 in extension.